So um, over here I have a boot, a safety boot. So I, this is for a, a product animation I'm doing at the moment. So I want to rig this. So um, the first thing you're going to do, this shoe has different parts, right? So rigging this is going to, um, there are various ways to do this, but um, the simplest and easiest method is what I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make uh, a with topology of the shoe shape. So this is the, the topology I did. Very simple, nothing too complex. And make sure that it covers the whole shoe. No part of the shoe is outside. So that is very important unless it won't work perfectly well so when you do this um next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into object data properties i'll go to viewport display and i'll display as wire so i can see what's inside then uh the next thing I'm going to do is a way to hide this that was the empty i parented all other parts of the shoot so so um we are going to add a bone a single bone then i'm going to go into edit mode uh click in front yeah so i'm going to now pose this ball i'm going to pose it so this is going to be for the um the tools then wait so i think this is okay then uh i'm going to extrude extrude it here this is going to be for the ankle then i'm going to extrude another one up so this is majorly it so i'm going to um, go into pose mode then i'm going to check if they are all connected so this part is connected and that's what i want and this part isn't and that's still what i want so um the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add the root bone so i'm going to in shift a then it's automatically adds the bone then i'll bring it down i rotate the bone now skin it up a bit so oh uh, this is it so i'm going to parents all other bones to this bone so i'm going to select this bone select this bone select this as the primary selection i want to control p keep offsets so if i go to pose mode wherever this bone goes the rest of the bone goes and it doesn't affect them in any way so um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to select this root bone and go here name it roots name this tools This can be foot, and this is leg. So I'll, I've named it, then I'm going to select the root bone. I'll go to deform and I'll click it off. Cause this bone is not going to have any form of deformation on the mesh. So um, I think I'm okay with it. Um, so, the next thing we're going to do is um we're going to go into object mode select this the um retopology we mean then um she select the bone or the amateur then control p with automatic weight so if i go to pose mode you see it's the foreign it defaults properly although i might need to do a little with painting to it but yeah it defaults perfectly well so yeah this is um majorly it i think uh i might need to adjust this a bit carrying this up.
think it's going to swell. Yeah, this is where the alcohol is. So yeah, uh, I think yeah that is uh, the kettle king. <clears throat> and control P with automatic weights. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I'm happy with this. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, bind the mesh, the main shoe to the um, the with topology. So what we're going to do is um, there are various ways you can approach this. You can do it one by one. You go to mesh default. Um, merge the four wire, there you will click the wireframe and you bind. But uh, I think this is going to be a longer process for me because there are a lot, a lot of shoe parts. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply all modifiers, then do that. So I went to Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, yeah. So I went to hide this, hide this, then. So any, so what the next you're going to do is that you need to apply all your modifiers before this can work. So I'm going to se select the sole, apply the modifier. I think that's it. Then okay, the shoelaces, yeah. Then I'll apply the modifiers. I think all other ones are good to go. So, okay, on this. Uh, yeah, till. Yeah, I think I would. So, I'm going to delete this. Box select. Select an active object. Ctrl J and apply it then um our alt h i'll delete this because i don't need it anymore then uh we just select this uh then i'll go to our uh, deform uh, mesh deform and now select the wireframe and now bind. So that's it. The shoe works. I might need to do a little with painting to it. Just it's not something too serious. But yeah, it works perfectly well. I'm not having any issues with lag or my laptop being slow because the most of the computation is done by the um, the way I frame. So uh, one more thing you can do to make this look professional. Um, I'm going to add shapes to the amateur. So I'm going to go into, um, oh, where is it? I'm going to go into curve, no, empty. I'm going to add a cube. I'm going to add a sphere and I'm going to add a circle. So I'm going to select, I'm going to pose mode and I'll go to um, I'm not done. Yeah, custom objects. So I will report custom shape. So um, I'm going to select which shape I want. For this, I want to be in the sphere. Uh, then you can swing the scale to whatever feel like, like it works for you. I'm going to reduce it to 0.2. Then I'm going to tweak the position. So wherever I feel is better uh, I think 
this and it goes for me. Then I will do the same for this. Again, so using the sphere also. Take it also. I will shrink the position to say persist. Looking good. Now I'll do this too. Paint. Okay, like I had the wireframe. So, then I can also do the same for the roots bone. Sorry. Can I take the one point five years good? So this is majorly it. One more thing you can do also is you can uh, change the colors in pose mode also. So we can go here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, ball color. I can put this red, depending on what you want. Uh, I can make this blue. Then I can make this uh, green. Yeah. So when you select it, it's because it's brighter. Then uh, I can make the yellow. So this is pretty, pretty much it. Uh, yeah, a professional shuri. <laughs> so thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.